Hi, friends of the Paradise. Heidi Nelson here. I'm the Executive Director of the Paradise Center for the Arts. And I decided to do a video again this week. Well, first of all, because I'm a little short on time. It's been a busy day for me. Um, it is Monday, the 4th of May, and we have lots of things to do before we reopen. But also because Mondays are usually the day or the first Monday of the month that I am on the radio in the morning. So I started my day with um, a conference call about our ticketing system and how we're going to navigate um, not allowing people to buy their tickets online quite yet um, so that we can practice our social distancing. Um, so let me just tell you a little bit about that. What is is gonna happen is we're gonna ask you to please call the box office in order to buy tickets. And um, when you do that, you tell us how many people are in your party and you know the five of you or the four of you or the two of you feel comfortable sitting right next to each other. And then we'll make sure that we have enough space around you. And so that's the way it's gonna work for a while anyway, um, until we can figure out a better system. We're gonna have conversations with you about what your comfort level is. Do you, are you okay with having people right in front of you? Or do you want them off to the side in the back of you? Or you know, what does that look like? One seat between you and the next person or two seats between you and the next person? We're all gonna know more when you know everything happens when we're allowed to reopen. So that was the way the day started. At 9.30 this morning, so that was about an hour, talking about lots of different things with our ticketing system. And then at 9.30 I was on the radio, um, the local radio station, KDHL, with uh, Gordy Kosfeld, and we had a lovely conversation for about 30 minutes about what's you know not happening at the Paradise Center for the Arts, but just the things that we are trying to do in order to um, raise a little bit of money and have a little bit of fun and entertain everybody. And so let me tell you kind of what that have turned out to be a lot of the rest of the day. Um, so what I was able to do is we put together something called Paradise Sings at Six. And what it is, is every evening at six o'clock on our Facebook page, we are going to have a different performer. And so the performer will come on and sing something and then there will be a donate button below that. And so we're gonna ask people to donate. If you donate a dollar, if you donate $5, if you donate $5,000, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, we will gladly take your donation. And really all kidding aside, if you wanna give us $5,000, I'll get you the tax deductible paperwork. So, um, but we have lots of really cool people that have, have signed up to do this already. So it's pretty awesome. Initially it started, I was just gonna have people who were in the theater. Um, and what it's turned out to be is that I, tonight was the very first night and Gary Rue from Fab Six and from the um, Buddy Holly Dance Party Reunion um, tribute was our very first singer. So if you missed it, hop onto our Facebook page, like us on Facebook, please, we would appreciate that. And then go ahead and watch that video. It's gonna stay up for the month, I guess, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna do a different person and the goal is one every every single night of the month of May. Because tomorrow is our big Give at Home Minnesota drive. And so tomorrow is the big day that um, lots of nonprofits are asking for help. And so of course we are asking for that too. Um, if you are on Facebook, I'm gonna be doing lots of lives tomorrow um, so that I can get that word out. Um, we we so appreciate all of the donations that we get and all the members that we have, uh, but we're always looking to um, just help level off that, um, you know, what our expenses are and, and what our outgo is. And right now we have no income, we just have outgo. So there you have it. Um, so let's see, what else today? I was able to get in a fabulous walk because the weather has been co cooperating a little bit and I hope that you are too. One of the things that I keep reading about is how very important it is for our mental state for us to get outside, get into nature, um, just be able to enjoy what's happening in the spring and especially as Minnesotans, we know that we just long for this kind of weather when it's 20 below and so get outside and enjoy it, even if it's just for a few minutes, or even if you just sit outside and you don't go for a walk, just enjoy the fresh air. That's really, it's so vital for all of us right now. Now, what else is happening at the Paradise? Well, we have um, nothing that is going to be going off in May. Everything is being uh, rescheduled. So we were supposed to have the 80s prom party. Well, first of all, this last weekend would have been our Big Hats, Big Hearts, which is a big fundraiser for us. Um, which is part of the reason that, because we're not having that, that we're doing this Paradise Sings at Six. 
um, we need to find a way that we can kind of level off and, and still have some fundraising funds that are coming in. We have um, uh, the 80s dance party, um, the prom party was supposed to happen, 80s prom party with the, the band Street Talk. And that one is gonna be rescheduled. We don't have a date yet. It, we just really decided this last week because of, of everything that the governor had been telling us. Um, and then Looney Lutherans was supposed to be middle of the month. We're gonna reschedule that one as well. And at the very end of the month, um, Annie Mack. So Annie Mack and I had a conversation on the phone the other day and she's lovely, first of all. I mean, I wanna be best friends with her. She's so amazing. And what she has invited or ask us if, if it would be okay if she did this because she's not going to be performing at the paradise at the end of the month. What she's going to do is she's going to take over our Facebook page. So she's going to post a live video or something, um, every single day leading up to, um, her event that she's still going to do on the 29th and she's going to do it from her home. So we're not going to be charging. We are still going to be paying her because, but not as much because she's lovely and you know, She's, she understands we're all in the same boat, but we would love it if you decide that you're going to enjoy that concert, if you wouldn't mind uh, clicking that donate button for us when that actually happens, um, because that'll be a cool way for us to be able to see how many people really enjoyed it. And you know, this could end up being a thing. So this morning I had um, one of the people who's going to be doing our Paradise Sings at six sent me a text message. Um, he does some directing and, and some performing at the Paradise. And he sent me a link to um, a ticketing platform that is putting together everything that I have dreamed about having in one place. You know, being able to live stream something and then charge tickets for it so that you're actually making some income so that you're paying your performers and you're getting some income yourself. It's really tricky to figure out how that all works. I mean, how am I going to have a band that may be is on our stage at the Paradise because they're comfortable being together and we don't have anybody in the audience. And then how are we gonna go about getting that to you in your house? Um, so we're figuring out ways to do that. You know, there's lots of things we can put stuff on YouTube and we can put things on our Facebook and have a private Facebook page and, and all of that. But this company has taken all of the guesswork out of it. So it's gonna be a few weeks before that actually happens. But we do realize that this is probably well, this is, this is going to be part of our future. So um, we're working on it. We're also working on possibly looking into how we can do that with actual classes. Although it was interesting, Gary Kosfeld asked me today um, why we wouldn't just do Zoom classes. And one of the biggest reasons is because we really believe at the Paradise Center for the Arts that when you take a class from us, it's different than just taking a class over the internet where somebody shows you how to paint or how to work clay or something like that. We really believe that a lot of what we provide is a really wonderful human connection experience that you get hands-on instruction from an expert. And so, you know, if you're not holding your brush the right way, well, someone on a YouTube video isn't going to be able to tell you that, but an instructor will be able to. Or if you're not using the right amount of pressure in your clay, an instructor can help you with that. And so that's really why um, we really feel very strongly about having our classes at the Paradise. And you can go ahead and register for summer classes right now. Um, so we really want you to uh, jump on our website, paradisecenterforthearts.org, check out what those classes are, and then you can go ahead and send an email to info at paradisecenterforthearts.org and go ahead and get registered for those summer classes. We are going to be using our social distancing and if that means that the weather's gorgeous and we can have a class outside, we're gonna do that. If it means that we're gonna move things into two classrooms so that people can spread out a little bit and just have our instructor go back and forth, we'll do that. Whatever that looks like, we're gonna do our very best. Or maybe something that was gonna be one class with the limit of 12 people is now gonna maybe be two nights and there's gonna be six people in each one. We're figuring it out as we go, just like everybody is. All right, well, I can't think of too much else that's happening for this week at the Paradise Center for the Arts, but please do stay tuned every night at six o'clock. We want you to enjoy the Paradise Sings at six. I hope that you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for your, all of the membership renewals that have been coming in and for the donations that have been coming in. Um, every little bit helps, and I am so incredibly grateful. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. And we'll see you next week. Bye.